Hello and welcome back to Brubacuin. Today, what we're going to be doing is Caprese Stuffed Flank Steak. Now, it's that time of the season, summer, my garden's kind of kicking off. I've got these awesome tomatoes. We're going to shove two kinds in here. We've got this red, uh, it's like a Russian Kirin something tomato, heirloom, very nice. And then these green zebras are going to go in. We've got some mozzarella cheese. We're going to make a little balsamic glaze to go over this. Can't wait to get this thing started. Let's do it. First things first, what we need to do is trim any excess fat or silver skin that's left on this flank stick. It's about, we got about a pound and a half, pound and three quarter flank steak here. Came pretty well trimmed. There's still just a little bit on the back. Some of this stuff you can probably leave. It's not, this will probably just render out. We're going to be smoking this on the Yoder at like 275. Get it to a temp of 130 on the internals. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna butterfly this. So we're gonna leave our hand on top. I mean, this piece, piece of meat's already pretty thin here. We want it a little bit thinner, all right? Just so we can roll it a little easier. So we're just gonna very carefully make slow cuts. You can already see it start to butterfly a little bit here. You just wanna really take your time with this so you don't accidentally cut through. A really sharp knife helps. The other thing is you can see here the grains are going this way. You want to cut with the grain so that way when you roll it back up, you're going to cut these pinwheels against the grain that will make it easier to chew. Because flank steak can tend to get a little tough if you don't have the uh, grains cut properly. Okay, so there we have it. You can see it just kind of butterflied open. Okay, you want to have this kind of nice and even. So I've got a little uh, meat mallet here with the flat side. I'm just going to kind of, you're not really smashing down on it. You're more of like pressing it out. So we're just going to press this out. So the meat's looking good. It's nice and even level. We're going to season the inside now. We're going to keep the, the seasoning super simple on this. I want the flavors of the, the basil and the balsamic to be front runners on this. So I don't want to do like a heavy heavy, uh, you know, rub or anything like that. So we're just using some salt, some black pepper is going on. And then just, and then just a little bit of garlic powder. So like I said, we got our two tomatoes. And we're just going to slice these super thin, as, as thin as possible. Check out the color on these tomatoes. Such a dark, deep red. Still hot from being out in the sun in, in the uh, garden there. I just picked them. So those are done. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this, right? We're going to take some of these tomatoes here, and we're just going to kind of alternate and spread these out. on the inside here. We've got our fresh basil from the garden as well. My plants are going a little bit crazy here. So we're just gonna pick whole leaves. I just want super rustic, nothing crazy. We're not chopping it. And this is where you get a lot of the flavor for this dish. So I'm gonna probably go a little heavy handed with it. I, I personally really love basil so All right, and then last but not least, we have our mozzarella here. And it's just pre-sliced mozzarella that I got. Figured make it easy. And I want this stuff like gooing out of this thing once it's done. All right, I think that looks good. We'll just do a little bit more pepper over the top here just because. A little more salt. And then we're going to wrap this thing. Right, so what we're doing here is we're just starting on this end and just kind of rolling this thing over. Like that. We're going to have a little bit coming out the sides. That's all right. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay, so now that it's uh, rolled, what we're going to do here is just, again, season the outside a little bit. You always want to season every, 
at every stage just to make sure that everything gets nice and uh, seasoned. Salt, pepper, and then just the garlic powder again on the outside. And we'll just take our butcher's twine here and wrap it. Nothing crazy, just do simple little knots. Yeah. Okay, so we got this thing nice and tight up here. We're just trimming off the ends of whatever we cut or tied. This thing is ready for the smoker. All right, so let's get this thing out there. All right, here we go. We've had the uh, Yoder set at 275. It's been warming up for about 15 minutes. We're just gonna go on the top rack. We've got hickory in the hopper, and we're gonna just put a temperature probe in and measure it till it gets 130. Pull it off, let it rest, dinner served. See you guys in a few. Flank stick is on. Time to get this glaze going because we're gonna need to let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna let it cool as well, kind of thicken up. Couldn't be any more simple. We have one cup of balsamic vinegar going in. and then just three tablespoons of brown sugar. You can also use maple syrup. I just prefer brown sugar. So get this nice and uh, incorporated here. And then we're just gonna throw this on right underneath the steak here. You know what? Let's throw it right underneath. Get some of those drippings off the steak, make it even that much better. So like I said, we're gonna let that simmer for about 15 minutes. Uh, we'll pull it off, let it cool down, and that's just going to be great over these little uh, pinwheels that we're making. So, yeah. See you guys in a second. It's been about an hour and a half. This thing is done. We just hit 130 on it. The mahogany color that's on this from the smoke looks amazing. I'm using a pizza peel to get it off, just because I can. Makes it a little easier. It's like a big spatula, you know. You can smell the basil and, and just a ton of that basil coming off it. So we'll just cover this thing up with foil. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. It's not a thick piece of meat, so 10 minutes should be good. And uh, we'll cut this thing up and dive into it. This thing is done, ready to go. Can't wait. Moment of truth, kind of nervous. Look at all that mozzarella. You got the tomatoes in there, the basil. So the one thing we can't forget, we have that awesome balsamic sauce here. We're just gonna drizzle this over the top. Okay, so we might have had some technical difficulties in this video. And by that, I mean, I didn't notice that the storage on my camera was full. <laughs> so we lost the uh, part of me eating it. So you're not gonna get to see me eat this awesome you know, Caprice pinwheel. But the good news is, is I still have the video of the actual meat. So we'll show you that and we'll go from there. You guys, thank you so much. We're barbecuing. Don't forget to subscribe, any thumbs up, ring the little bell. See you guys next time. Cheers.